Okay, today we're going to interview the world famous explorer. He just invented time travel. And he went out, and the first place he went through was to the dinosaur area. And he exited his time travel machine, and right in front of him was a Tyrannosaurus Rex with his mouth open. What did you do? Yeah, that was scary. Um, so, uh, honestly, I, di I didn't really think before going to this era. I didn't bring any equipment. Uh, I just thought, oh, that seems like a good idea. So, uh, I ran. You ran away from your time machine? <laughs> yeah. How are you going to get back if you don't have your time machine? You're going to invent another time machine? Well, it would be kind of hard. Uh, <laughs> All the chips and everything, the technology, the circuitry? Yeah. Well, then you ran into a sand trap. I understand there's a lot of quicksand, quicksand back in there. How'd you get out of that? Uh, yeah. So, uh, I didn't get out and actually gave into a cave. Oh, a cave. Yeah. Did you run into any cave bears? Uh, surprisingly, no. No cave bears? I don't know about that. There was a lot of cave bears back in that time. Mm. One was empty. And they kind of smelly, too. What does it smell like? Like a cave? Oh, well, how'd you get back to your time machine? So, so basically, uh, w what I did have, what I brought with me, was, was just a basic locator, which connected to a uh, tracking device on the time machine. So basically, I... Uh, Ran, I ran uh, through the tunnels back back to the uh, position of the time machine. I didn't have anything to dig with, so I just uh, did a, a quick geo scan, looked for the nearest exit, and and then popped back up on the surface oh. and, and ran for it. So your time machine was un, undamaged by the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Yeah, surprisingly. I thought maybe you might want to try and eat it or something. Yeah. So you get back to the present, your time machine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I heard that you you reported you'd made another trip. Oh God! <laughs> and we're I think something some, something you said about going back and uh, something something about the Mount Etna and there was there was an eruption and lava was flowing down the hill towards you. What did you do? <laughs> Lava's coming right at you. I just. I just, I just, <laughs> once I saw it, I just, uh-oh, I just slammed my head on the keyboard looking for, like, Any just, time just at all. trying to get coordinates <laughs> and so that I could leave immediately. So you just went, got, you don't know I where it I just went, went somewhere. You just went some. you don't know where it's at, though. <laughs> no. Oh, well, you know, you told us what well, other, other time. But you came back to the present, right in the middle of Times Square. Hmm. Now you saw you saw the movie, uh, right? Uh, the Terminator. Yeah. When it traveled through time, the only thing it traveled through time was this body. Mm. So what happened when you were in the middle of Times Square, and popped out of your time machine? How were you dressed? <laughs> so the uh, time machine has has like a weird sustaining field around it I I, di I didn't build it I hire I hired some foreign workers to do it I designed it you des I designed it yes I didn't build it so did you arrive in time square like the Terminator does in a movie I thought that's how time machines worked you only transport a, you know a living body yeah <laughs> Did you find that embarrassing? How did you get out? Of <laughs> You're not saying anything. <laughs> well, after that interesting episode, they got back in time machine and back came back to the present. Yeah. You gonna write a book about it? Um. I I I probably would. It probably wouldn't get published, but I would 
granted, I would write the book. Oh, okay. That's it. Well, it's been an interesting experience. I think we have uh, some more interviews scheduled on your time travels because you've done quite a bit of time traveling hmm. in a period of time. Yeah. Hopefully you didn't change anything in the past. Wait, what? Well, I don't know. You went back and did some changes, you know. We, how will we know if you change the past? Because when you come back to the present, the past has already been changed. Uh... I mean, George Washington didn't used to be the president, the first president. It used to be somebody else, but you went back, and now George Washington's the president of the United States when he was at number one. What did you do to change that? I mean, uh, that church didn't need that extra lantern. I mean, there were two, so I figured that it wouldn't miss one. Oh, okay. Okay. Now there's two two backwards, huh? Two, two paths? Well, we got to give some thought to this. So we'll call for close today, and tomorrow we'll tune in to find out where Rowan goes next in his time traveling adventures. Maybe back to Atlantis, or maybe into the future. You can travel in the past and into the future. Yeah. So, Rowan, that's it for today. <laughs> you can go back and into the present <laughs> and put your time machine away.